Honda is releasing car after car, trying to fit into each and every primary market. So far, they've done a great job, and some of their cars dominate the market. Some cars are just being upgraded and made better, while others receive a complete overhaul. In the Indonesian market, Honda has announced the all-new WRV. But what makes this car stand out? What will this car feature? Let's find out, shall we? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we will look at the 2023 Honda WRV and what it has to offer. But before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out more about the 2023 Honda WRV. Honda has recently revealed their all-new WRV compact SUV in the Indonesian market. The next generation of the WRV looks quite different from the one that is currently in India. In addition, it also gets many features that none of the other SUVs in the segment offer yet. The Honda WRV is expected to face off against cars such as the Tata Nexon, Kia Sonet, Maruti Brezza, Renault Kiger, and Nissan Magnite. Reports have suggested that Honda might even introduce this new SUV in the Indian market, but that has yet to be confirmed. To showcase the new car, Honda recently conducted a media drive for the new WRV, which is looking great so far. It's said that the Honda WRV was developed from the Honda SUV RS concept, which is a compact SUV with a more sporty character that is typical of the RS variant from Honda. This concept has also previously been realized through the RS variant. It was first available in an SUV model with the all-new Honda HRV, which was launched in Indonesia in March of 2022. This concept was then fully implemented through the mass production model of the Honda WRV. At first, it was displayed with camouflage stickers at automotive exhibitions and roadshows in various regions of Indonesia. So far, consumers have also been very enthusiastic about it during this parade and show. In Indonesia, the Honda WRV will mainly complement the previously successful Honda SUV line, with some of the models being the new Honda CRV, the all new Honda HRV, and the all new Honda BRV. And as part of the Honda SUV line, the Honda WRV will come with some of the common characteristics of all Honda SUVs. This includes high ground clearance, powerful engine performance, a spacious cabin, and sophisticated technology. In addition, the Honda WRV is also designed to have a more sporty style and various advantages compared to other models in its class. This car is designed to stand out among other vehicles in its class. When it comes to the exterior of the Honda WRV, the dashing SUV character comes with a sportier design than it already has. When you look at the front view of the Honda WRV, you will notice that it comes with a front grille that has a futuristic tessellated design. Furthermore, it is equipped with modern headlights with sporty dark chrome accents. The Honda WRV also comes with thin, sharp, and long LED headlights, giving it a premium look. When they're switched on, these headlights provide clear visibility for the driver. Honda has also added a modern sequential turn signal, which makes the front appearance of this SUV pretty attractive. The design looks sophisticated and unique when you head to the rear. This look has been elevated by the use of LED bars. On the side, the car appears sleeker and sportier, where the body line extends from the headlights to the sides and ends at the taillights. The rear door of the Honda WRV has been uniquely designed. It has used the concept of a coupe where the door handle is located on the side of the window frame. Honda has really tried to make the car stand out from others in its class, and the design already gives it a great start ahead. The Honda WRV will have the highest ground clearance in its class with a height of 220 millimeters. This is so as to provide the car with a sense of security when going through various road conditions. With this, there's no road that the car cannot drive through. The Honda WRV RS will come with two-tone 17-inch alloy wheels, which will give the car a sportier look and feel. These sportier design elements will emphasize the character of the RS. On the other hand, the Honda WRV Type E will use 16 inch alloy wheels. Enough about the exterior of the Honda WRV. It is time to get to the interior and find out what it has to offer. The Honda WRV will offer a well designed cockpit area that will provide ample space for the driver. Honda has used a combination of leather and fabric seats to make the cockpit as comfortable as ever. 
The WRV is available in a leather center console box with armrests. The sporty design extends all the way to the interior as well, with the cockpit being given a sporty and quality interior design. This design blends to represent the character of a compact SUV. The Honda WRV will also come with a 12 volt power outlet for easy connection and charging and two USB ports that can be connected to various devices. It's clear that the cockpit is very comfortable. In addition, the Honda WRV has a 4.2 inch thin film transistor TFT display screen on the dashboard that displays various accurate information while driving. Some of this information includes the Honda sensing function, average fuel consumption, travel distance, and remaining fuel. The audio display has been combined with a 7-inch touchscreen that has been equipped with various functions. Some of these features include smartphone connectivity and hands-free phone calls. Even after all this, there is one element of the car that we have not looked into, and there's a reason for that. Under the hood, the Honda WRV packs an exciting powertrain. It uses a 1.5 liter IVTEC DOHC inline 4 cylinder DBW, 16 valve engine capable of giving it a maximum power of 121 PS at 6,600 RPM. All these can work together to provide it with a maximum torque of 145 Nm at 4,300 RPM. This is the largest that you will get in this Honda's class. The Honda WRV makes use of a CVT transmission with G Design Shift technology. This means that it produces powerful acceleration performance and has an increased fuel efficiency of 4%. The powerful engine performance combined with a CVT transmission helps the driver feel fun while driving this SUV through various road conditions, whether in town or off road. The 2023 Honda WRV has already been taken for a first drive review by a vlogger on YouTube. You could find this video on AutoNet Max, and we have to say that the results of this were quite amazing. The vlogger takes the new WRV RS out for a spin, testing some of the features of the car as they drive. When the new WRV is compared with the current Honda WRV in India, the RS variant is much better in terms of look, feel, and power. From a certain angle, the front end reminds us of the Honda Amaze. However, this is not a coincidence since the SUV is based on the same platform as the Amaze. As we have seen, the Honda WRV is a compact SUV, slightly over 4 meters, and the chances of Honda bringing this SUV to India are quite high. However, the manufacturer has not yet confirmed anything about this. If Honda were to bring this car to India, some changes would have to be made to ensure that it falls under the sub 4 meter category. The Honda WRV has many safety features, such as adaptive cruise control, keep the distance set from the car in front, and detect any oncoming cars. In addition to that, the Honda WRV also comes with a collision mitigation braking system, a lane keeping assist system, a road departure mitigation system, a lead departure notification system, and an auto high beam feature. The main thing to love about this car is the fact that Honda has finally decided to make it look more like an SUV. And given all the technology that has been packed into it, this is going to stand out in its class. I would love to see another car better than this one in the same class. What do you think of the Honda WRV? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.